Our next caller is Isaiah from Arizona. Isaiah, how can we help you? Hey guys, um, thanks for accepting my call. Uh, this is super awesome and um, I appreciate what you guys do and the content you guys put out. So I had to say that mm. like everyone else does. Um, so to help set up the question, I am currently a personal trainer. I'm very new. I started this year in June and the gym that I'm working at, um, the, the amount of time that they give us trainers to work with our clients is 30 minutes. Um, and I felt like that is a pretty short amount of time to kind of figure out what kind of program I want to run for them and what kind of exercises, um, I should include since it's only 30 minutes I have to work with, um, listening to you guys, I've really understood the value of, um, making sure you do compound lifts and just the benefits that those offer. Um, especially when the client's goals are weight loss or muscle gain. Um, so I've been trying to really incorporate those, but I feel like they take up a lot of the, the, the time that we're given as trainers at the gym I work at. And maybe, maybe that's still okay, but I feel like I'm having a hard time figuring out how to program my workout for my clients for only 30 minutes. I, I love this question. Do you guys remember? It was actually the very beginning of the podcast. I don't think we've talked about this in a long time. We talked about this. Remember we mm -hmm. talked about like if we only had 30 minutes to train a client, like how would how would we address that? And th this similar challenge was, that, you know, because I get it. Like a, a squatting session could literally take 30 minutes by itself. Yep. Right? Yep. Totally. Um, so obviously the, the first thing is everybody is an individual and this, this answer that I'm going to give you would be different based on the client. So you, and this is where you, your skill sets will evolve. You'll have to learn to modify and adjust based on the person, their goals, their needs, their, their inabilities and, and so forth. But I do think there's, there is nothing wrong with an entire, uh, 30 minute session being dedicated to improving the squat. And so mm -hmm. I, I would actually convince my client that came in that like today we are going to work on the skill of squatting because it's so been, and I would sell them on why I want to do this because of how beneficial it is for building muscle, for burning body fat, for overall function. Like I, we want to get good at this. And so the whole session would be around, you know, these priming and mobility movements. And then we would squat, then we do prime and mobility movements. And then we would squat and it, just trying to get them good at it. And that would be like one of the training sessions. And then maybe the next day I see him, it's overhead press and bench press or something like maybe mm -hmm. I can get two lifts done, but I don't be afraid to do one or two like full body movements like the squat, a deadlift, over standing mm -hmm. overhead press. These movements are so fundamental and beneficial to the client that just because you didn't do seven exercises, like listen, you could do seven exercises, right, in a workout for somebody and it'd be less effective than one. Mm -hmm. And that and, and, yeah. and I think that's the hardest part for some people to understand is like, you know, you could you could have someone do machine bicep curls, tricep push downs, lateral <laughs> raises um, you know, cable rows and maybe something else. And I would tell you that I could take that same person and do just one squat session with them and they will get more bang for their buck as far as burning fat, building muscle, yeah. overall movement, overall health. Like, so don't be afraid to, uh, to have a session that's completely dedicated to a movement. Yeah, I a hundred percent agree. I mean, simplicity here is key because I mean, it's so nuanced. There's so many different like cues, so many different things you can, you know, peer into it. Actually, they get a lot of value out of that and you have to consider each person individually like what's their biggest need like what can i really hyper focus in on and and educate them and, and build them you know a, a routine that's going to last them a long lifetime and so mm -hmm. this is something too like in considering uh you know each joints function and and, and really like hyper focusing in on that and like uh, alleviating pain or any kind of restriction of the body you know we could just do a session mobility wise where i could really like teach them tricks and and, and ways to, you know, place their body in positions where it's going to alleviate a lot of that. It's going to open up new ranges of motion. It's something that they can apply at home. I'm giving them skills to then apply at home and practice, practice, practice. We come back, you know, we move on and we go to something else like maybe a compound lift or something that has a little bit more, um, you know, involvement in terms of difficulty. So, um, you know, there's a whole scale with that. Like, it's just, you got to look at it as like, how can I sort of, you know, compartmentalize what I would normally do with a, a long session with somebody and, and really just you know add as much value by hyper focusing on and educating this this client yeah isaiah you know your clients so i would do i would spend that 30 minutes on the stuff that they need you the most 
four. Yeah. I mean, so it may be overhead press and row. It might be mobility. It might be, you know, correctional exercise. I mean, it depends on the client. I, so uh, and, and now here's what I would do if I was in your situation. So one of the thing, one of the, one of the reasons why I ended up opening up my own studio was because I hated being limited by the, the big box gyms. They tell me what I can and can't do. Used to annoy the shit out of me, so I opened up my own studio so I could do whatever I wanted. But in the meantime, you're in this facility. You're limited by time, so you got to figure out a way to work around it. Here's what mm-hmm. I would do if I were you. I would do what the client needs me to do the most in that 30 minutes, and then I would say, John, here's the rest of your workout. Go do that in the gym. I'm going to be training Susie over here. If you have a question, just come over here and ask me real quick, yeah. or I'll keep an eye. Uh, you know, I'll keep an eye on you. Uh, through the corner of my eye, and if something really happens, then I'll shout across the gym, and the clients won't mind. You know, in between sets, I'll ask, you know, answer your question, or I can kind of watch a little bit, or I know you're doing the exercise I told you, but focus most of the, the that all that 30 minutes is what you think the client needs you most for. So look at all the exercise, all the stuff you want to do, and say, okay, what do I feel most comfortable this client doing on their own, and what do they really need me the most for? Sometimes it's the exercises that they need the most cues for. Sometimes it's the exercises they won't do alone. So mm-hmm. oftentimes it was like, I'm going to do these exercises with my client because they're not going to do it on their own. Like they may need yeah. me, they may need my help with the squat, but I know they'll go squat on their own. But I know this guy ain't going to do mobility. So guess what I'm going to do for 30 minutes with this person? Yeah. Just mobility. So this is where the coaching and training aspect, this is where your expertise comes into play. And those limitations already in my head is in the direction of like, how many times can I schedule them a week? Like, how can I fill the yeah. schedule up? And because it's, it's going to be a value to them. I'm going to keep teaching them. If, if I have the short, brief moment of time with them, if I can have them as frequently as possible, run through all these sessions, uh, you know, I'm going to be able to establish yeah. some, some kind of routine that they can stick I, with. I, yeah, where do you, what, is this a, a big box like gym chain that you work at? Um, I mean, it's called Mountainside Fitness, so okay. I don't know how big that is. I know it's, I know it's pretty big in the area that I'm in. Okay. Do they do they allow you to train a client two sessions back to back by any chance? Yeah, I, and I've done that. It's just not every client has the time to do that. But I have done hour sessions. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's what I was going to say. So you know, if I had a client that I'm like, well, you know, here's the deal. Um, in this 30 minutes, I'm going to focus on the stuff you really need me for. But I'm going to be honest with you, you also need me for other stuff as well. I think yeah. you need to work with me for an hour. I mean, you know, you're the you're look, you're the you're the expert, right? You make yeah. the recommendations and you take it from there and you give them an option. Option one, I'm training you for 30 minutes. I'm going to focus on the stuff you really need me for, but then that means that there's a, a, other stuff that you kind of need me for, but you got to do on your own. Or option two, I'm your trainer. That's it. Everything you do in the gym, you do with me, and I can tell you that you're going to get the best results, and I can guarantee that you're going to be in the best hands doing it that way as well. Well, this also highlights. Um the exception to the rule, right, that we make sometimes. We talk about on the show all the time the benefits of free weights and that, you know, isolation exercises are, like, in, inferior to, you know, compound movements and stuff like that. But here's an example of where I would use a lot of machines and real basic movements is I would go, okay, like Sal's saying, I'm going to focus on the thing that they need me the most for in those 30 minutes, and then I'm going to prescribe the rest of them. And I'm going to prescribe things that may not be as good, right? So I know that a a barbell bench press is superior to a machine cable fly or a machine press, right? I know that. Mm-hmm. And but maybe I'm limited to the time and I know there's other things that I could help them out even more. So for the time being, I might I might squat with them for that 30 minutes and then tell them I want you to use the machine press here and this tricep pushdown machine here and this bicep curl machine here and then this lateral machine here. And that's what you're going to do after you and I squat together. Or this is what I want you to do tomorrow when you don't see me. So I would use these these uh, these exercises that we typically would say are inferior to other barbell dumbbell movements because I'm limited to how much time I can support this client or. You might have a client who actually, once you show them one time, they do have pretty good form and you can trust them to go do a, you know, dumbbell skull crusher or they do pick up bench press. And so you can prescribe that. But I think the answer uh, is going to be is pretty much the same from all of us is you as a trainer need to figure out what, you know, if you looked at the perfect program where you weren't limited by time, where are the areas that they will need you the most? And that's where you focus your time. And then the rest uh, you, you prescribe and tell them to do on their own. That's perfect. Yeah, that was my thought process. And I figured you guys would also say the same thing. So my thought process was if I only if I only have 30 minutes of them, the best thing I can do for them is to provide the best um, service I can in that 30 minutes. Um, and I've really learned how valuable the compound lifts are. 
So I've been starting out my sessions with those lifts, squats, deadlifts, um, bench press, because I feel like um, those are going to give them the most benefit. And some, some of those lifts, you really need help doing that. Like you obviously need a spotter when it comes to bench or to watch form when you squat. So I've been really focusing my sessions on those. Um, and sometimes they take up half of the time. Sometimes they take up the whole time. Um, like in a five by five squats, like <laughs> 30 minutes goes by pretty quick. Yep, right. And, and they haven't complained that it's boring or that they're not having fun. Um, they're seeing good progress and yep. they're, they're getting good results. So I just figured I would get some validation from you guys. Yeah. First. But let me interrupt too. Okay. This is a mis- And also, I don't think you're making this mistake, but be aware of this. Uh, one, a mistake that a lot of new trainers make is they disc- they, they completely forget human behavior. What your client needs you the most for sometimes is what you think they need the most. And sometimes it's just, uh, you know, like I said earlier, like I got a client who could definitely benefit from me doing lots of, you know, squats with them. But I also know that they're going to do some form of squats on their own. But the mm-hmm. one thing that they always avoid is mobility work. So guess mm-hmm. what I'm going to do for 30 minutes with that person? Mobility work, right? So you got to think like that. What does the client need the most from me? And what is going to benefit the mo- them the most? Do that in the 30 minutes. So sometimes it's going to be the compound lifts. Sometimes it's going to be the stuff that the client won't do on their own, even though they know how to and they can, they just don't yeah. do it on their own. So that's what you end and up doing. When you, and when you have multiple things that you're trying to address, like, cause maybe you're hearing salary and you're like, shit, man, they really need me for squat. They yeah. really need me for deadlift. They really need. So there's nothing wrong with you doing this. Like, and, and by the way, the more you, you, you plan this out and share with your clients, the better your resigns will be. So they see that you have this long-term plan and you might yeah. say, Hey, I'm limited to only 30 minutes with you. So this month, What I'm going to do is every 30 minute session is going to be different. And I'm going to go over what I think are the 12 most important movements I want you to do. And so every, every workout is different for an entire month. And then they practice on their own. That's right. And then they practice on their own. And and then you focus on maybe just a couple at a time. Does that make sense? Like, so there's, and and I tell you, like talk about setting up re-signs is a great way to set up your re-sign because they see that you have this long old plan laid out for them. Tremendous value. You're going to get tons of value in your coaching by you. And what might end up happening, and I guarantee this will happen to you if you do a good job of this, many of them are like, man, this this one day or two day a week, 30 minute thing is just not enough for me. Can we do more? Yeah, I love it. I want to yeah. do more of it. Right. And so that's yeah. another way mm-hmm. to uh, to lay this out is to you know plan it out weeks or months in advance of everything you're going to be covering with them. And then you'll be asking them to do some of the things on their own. Got it. Yeah. Very helpful. Thank you. No problem. Um, uh, yeah. Your guys' show has taught me more than my certification has. So I appreciate your guys' content. <laughs> which, which, awesome. certi- which certification was it by any chance? Yeah. <laughs> and I've learned a lot. So I'm not going to discredit them, but I've got, I went through NASM. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I was, yeah. I was no, joking. We all started up with that. Yeah. We so, all started with yeah. NASM. So I, no, I, they're, they're, they're great certification. Thanks for calling in. Oh, by the way, is there, is there any program you want for free? Because uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a giving mood as a holiday season. Um, <laughs> South to Claus. Um, I would really like, um, I'd be a fan of either anabolic or uh, performance would be awesome. No, well, do, no wait, problem. Wait. I'll give you a 5% off code. Just use Adam. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll get, <laughs> hey, we're going to send, dick. we'll send both those to you. Okay? Wait a second though. Wait a second before I let you commit to that. Do you own prime pro or prime? No. Okay. Oh, okay so I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let you pick I'm because, because here's the deal. Those, those two programs for trainers and coaches, I've said this on the podcast again, so I don't, I'm going to insult you a little bit right here. You're an idiot. If you don't own those and you're a trainer and a coach, those two programs so valuable. are so valuable for you as a trainer and coach. Like when it comes to addressing issues with the clients, if you own those or you have those, you should be able to go back and reference that and be able to blow Essential your clients' Essential for your tools. Yeah. So, right, Isaiah, check this out, all right? Like I said, we're in a, a giving mood right now. You're a trainer. You're one of our favorite people. We love coaches and trainers because we are coaches and trainers. I'm going to give you Prime, Prime Pro, Anabolic, and Performance for free. There you go. Oh, wow. Whoa. All right. Thank you. No problem, man. I, now, awesome. listen, you got to do one thing for me. Go, go be out, the top trainer in your right. gym. Go out there and change Kick lives. ass and then go open your own studio so you don't have to follow these stupid rules. Yeah. I, I will do that. I can do that. All right, All right man. Right, Thank you. Thank you. Change lives, buddy. You know, you know what's really annoying to me that gyms do, I can't stand, is they fail to, to, to recognize the following. What's best for the client is best for the business. They mm. just don't think of that sometimes. What yeah. they think to themselves is, 30 minute sessions, we can fit oh, this many more clients. Number crunching. It's a lower price point. We're going to yeah. sell more training. No, what's mm. best for the person, what's going to give them the best results, improve their consistency the most, it's going to give the trainers the most tools to do the best job. 
That's what's going to make your business and your gym crush. Pricing and timeline. It's a race to the bottom. I, it just annoys the crap out of me. And I really wish that a lot of them would do this. And it was funny when I would when run gyms, I would do what I wanted to do half the time and not what they told me to do because I, I understood this. And luckily, they left me alone because when they'd see the money, yeah. then they'd say, okay, well, Sal, you keep doing your thing. But it just it really bothers me when they do that. You know? Yeah, I remember this, though. That was the push for a while because it made sense corporate-wise. Yep. Like, it, let's let's be as efficient as possible. Let's, like, lower our price point because maybe price is the biggest barrier. But, you know, then you had you know trainers out there like me. I'm like, I want to sell the, the biggest package I possibly can. Like, I don't want to, like... So I would have to sell these 30-minute sessions and I would just stack them all back to back to back. Yeah, so exactly. That's what I do. Well, I'm going to use this opportunity to continue to insult Isaiah and all the other trainers. <laughs> that, I'm serious, Kay. The, the kid just said- It's a valid point. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah, listen, listen, he's a listen, listen to me right now. The kid just got done saying how much he's learned from our podcast in comparison to a national certification. NASM, by the way, runs you $800 to $1,000. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Maps Prime and Prime Pro, the fucking bundle is 160 bucks or so, give or take, whatever it is. That is not that much of an investment. And what that will be able to, what you'll be able to do with that, with your clients, will absolutely blow your mind. So if you're a trainer and you're listening to this, and I haven't said this in a while, and you do not own both those programs, you you stop listening to the show. I don't want you to listen to the show anymore. You're getting yeah. all this good information. You see all the value in it. Now you're you going to apply it. And you haven't invested in those two programs. And out of all the programs we own, nothing. Dude, we will, made those yeah. for trainers. No, I mean, did. that's really who 100%. we thought about when we made them. And the value is tremendous. And as a trainer or a coach, I'll tell you something right now, if you want to be successful, and you had to pick a goal that you could work on in, to make yourself successful. It's not weight loss. It's not muscle gain. It's not performance. It's getting people to not have pain yeah, and alleviate better. pain. I swear to God, if you could do that, you will have a client. Well, just for life. Two, do you guys remember? I mean, I I, I totally remember being a, a young trainer and then a client telling me they have a pain here or this bothers them and being like, oh, fuck, I don't know. You know, like yeah. I don't know. Or trying to guess or figure out, or then going home and trying to research and figure out what it is. Like, literally that has like compass tests built in. So if they have an issue in a joint that's bothering them, yeah. you literally can go, okay, let's do this movement, see how they move through it. They'll and, feel better right away. And then they have yeah. exercises to support that and improve that that are laid out for you. You look like a brilliant trainer and you could be brand new. Like So if you are a new trainer and you don't have that, Slap yourself. Adam's disappointed in you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at his face right You know now. what? Well, <laughs> I knew it when, you, mean when you were asking him about what program. I know. He wanted the cool ones, Yes. Right? He was going, oh, anabolic or aesthetic. Those yeah. are, and I'm thinking to myself, this kid, I bet you, doesn't even have fucking prime of mind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sure as Cold shit. out, dude. Spoken like a good fitness manager. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.